Hello, hello. How's it going? Uh, hi, I'm Laura Jean. Welcome to my channel, Laura Jean's Reads Room, where I'm the create creator and owner. Um, and I am going to make a bow. So I just did a tree tapper bow tutorial. And I thought I'd do one more bow. So I'm going to make a bow to go with this sign right here. And these are the ribbons I'll be using for this bow. So we have blues, golds, and silvers. And uh, I'm gonna be doing this sign with a matching bow on a giveaway on one of my lives. So uh, make sure you're watching when I'm live on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I felt like that was a big word and it took a lot to get out. <laughs> yeah, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Eastern Standard Time. It's a tongue twister for me. All right, so I'm using a Bodabra. You're gonna need wire cutters and I'm using a 22 gauge wire. Uh, you do wanna use a thicker wire when you're making bows or you will break them. You will break that wire when you uh, tighten that bow. Uh, and again, the bow dabber. So I'm just putting my wire right down through these little slats. And then I'm gonna just fold it underneath the bow dabber to get it out of my way. All right, so again, that's my sign. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is right. Oh, all is bright. And it's blues and it's got gold and silver in it. So let's start with this one. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And I'm gonna do, let's do a 14 inch tail. So I'm gonna pinch this down and then you're always gonna twist. So twist it so that the good side is now facing down and I'm gonna get in your way for one second. Hold on, sorry, I just wanna get that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so that the good side is down, and that way when you go to pull it up, the good side is up. And I'm going to do... Let's do... It's a small sign, so we could get away with a pretty large bow. And you guys know I like big bows. Hmm. I'll do a seven inch loop. So I'm gonna do a seven inch loop and then I'm gonna push it down. And I'm gonna twist. Pull that tail down. I'm gonna do a seven inch on the other side. Make sure I'm at seven. Twist. It's colored. This ribbon is really pretty. I love blue. You guys all know I love blue. going to be start decorating for my house uh, and my design group uh, and this year I'm adding pink so I'm getting ready to do my garland and my uh the Santa wreath that I made that was pink I decided to keep and that's going to be the wreath on my door so I'm going to match the garland to the wreath but I do got to add a little bit of blues in that wreath all right let's pull this down I made the tails maybe a little longer, but it'll be fine. All right. So let's come in. Let's pull those up. All 
I don't really know what I'm making when I make bows. I just make them. So I might have already made this bow in a tutorial because I don't pay attention to how I make my bows. <laughs> that is funny. Let's bring silver. Let's break it up a little bit with some silver. Isn't that so pretty? That is from, I think, Joanne. No. Did I get this at Joanne's? Yes, Joanne's. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. So we're going to come in here, and I'm going to do three loops. So we're going to twist. And I'm making the tails just as long. That way, whoever wins it, if they want to trim them down, they can. We're going to do three loops. One. And I'm going to do um, these loops at six inches. Well, let me get over to ten. It's hard for me. Yeah, let's do six inches. Twist. Twist. I love this ribbon. So pretty. So I'm gonna bring that tail down and cut it. It's very pretty. Yes, yeah, so I went out and bought a whole bunch of pink to add and turquoise to my navy blue silvers and golds. Uh, so one part of my house is gonna be elegant with silvers, golds, and blues. And then the other part is gonna be whimsical with pinks, turquoise, and whites. But I don't usually start this early, but I sold my last year's whole outside display. I got a lot to do, so I guess I'm gonna start early. All right, now let's come in with, I'm gonna come in with another one and a half inch ribbon, which I've never done it this way, so I'm just playing around. <laughs> and I'm gonna start my tail, so I started my tails this way, so I ended up with two loops on one side and one loop on the other. So I'm starting my tail the opposite side, and, um. That way I'll end up with two loops. Why is my tails both on that side? I don't usually put my ribbon in that way. Hmm. One, two, yeah. Um, that way I end up with two loops on this side. I, I'm kind of confused myself. So twist, and I'm gonna do these just as long. So just use these as your guide, your previous loop. twist twist Um, so what's today? Tuesday. So I will be live tomorrow on YouTube, but I will also be live on Facebook this week, uh, to make my wreath kit, uh, that I've been selling. Uh, I got to do that live tomorrow on YouTube or on face Thursday and Facebook. And there are still some available in my shop. Just going to throw that out there. All right, let's cut this tail. And let's bring in Merry Christmas. And I'm gonna start it on this side. Twist. We're gonna do two loops on each side. 
Louis crying, looking at the through the French doors at me. <laughs> Buddy, stop it. All right, I'm going to do these at about five inches. Okay, that one's curling to, there we go. It's curling to the front. No, nope, curls to the front. All right, twist. I'm in love with this silver. Oh, I gotta go buy more of that. That's one you wanna stock up on, okay? Go, oh, you scared me. Night, babe. Baby, we look. Mm. Bring that down. I'm going to come on top with two loops with this um, ribbon. Where's this from? I think this is Joanne's too. Yep, Joanne's. Joanne's got good Christmas ribbon out this year. Some ones that I haven't seen from last year. So that was nice. Sometimes you get sick of using the same stuff every year. I feel like that long tail is a little big, so I'm going to pull on it. Oh, that's not the right one. Never mind. All right, I'm going to come in here and we're going to do one loop on each side. Now, this doesn't have, I don't think it's got wire in it, but it's pretty flexible. And I'm doing smaller loops, so it should be fine. We're just gonna do a little, like four inch loop. Just like that. Let's bring that down. I'm just gonna make that just a little bit bigger. Bring that down. So, you know, wired ribbon, you can't really mess up your bow. You just keep, if you don't like how it comes out, you can always adjust it even after you got it tied down by adjusting your loops. Um, you could always take it apart and start it over. So don't, don't be afraid to try to make a bow. If you've never made a bow, because uh, I was always intimidated to make bows. I didn't know how, uh, but you know what? You're never going to learn if you don't try. So I'm going to come in here with the one and a half inch. And we're going to do four smaller loops. And I'm just making sure my loops are smaller than the one, than this loop that I just did. to end it I think with this did I use this one no I'm gonna end it with this so it's like the light gold with the blue see-through center and we're just gonna do one loop on each side and then this bow is done
bring that down and cut. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my wire that's underneath and I'm gonna unfold it and pull it back up to the sides. I'm gonna come through my tails. Make sure you're separating your tails. I'm gonna push this back down. Straight. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna pull this one up. So I'm going back in through these little slits and I'm gonna cross them. So I'm going that one on this side now and this one's coming over on this side. And that way I can pull it tight. So I'm just gonna pull it, give it a nice tight pull. Push that down, pull. And then I'm just gonna twist it off in the back. Just gonna give it another quick pull. You just really wanna make sure your stack is staying stacked. So I'm just gonna squeeze that again and then twist. Twist your bow, get it nice and tight. And then we're just gonna fluff it. Just pull all your tails down. So I'm gonna pull this up. Then we're gonna do the one in it, one inch. Then I'm gonna bring the two inch, two and a half inch between the one inch silver. That silver one looks a little short. I might have to pull on that, and make it longer, or make this one shorter. I'll play with that later. So you're just fluffing and separating everything to get it party. All right, so let's go do the same thing down the other side. Yeah, this loop right here is way too long. I gotta shorten that one. So I'm gonna grab, see how long that is? I'm gonna grab one of the tails and pray it shortens um, that loop. So I'm going to try to pull this tail and let's see what, what it might shorten a different one. So you got to keep an eye on it. Hold on. Got to get a grip. All right, let's pull. I'm super tight in here. I don't see which one that's shortening. I don't think it was that. Let's try the other tail. So let's pull a, one of these loops. Nope, <laughs> I can't find it. Just gotta keep playing and pulling on it. But that one's too long for me, I don't like it. Unless I make all these long. I'm totally pulling this one. Sorry guys, I gotta fix that. All right, so this goes to this one. This has gotta be this tail. Nope.
can't find it. All right, I'm not gonna play. I'll play with it after. I don't feel like messing with it right now. I will shorten that though. Ugh. All right, so let's continue fluffing. Let's get it fluffed and then let's find that booger. <laughs> Separate it all. Don't be afraid to really yank on these. Get them where you want them to go. All right. Hold on. That one's just too long. She's making me mud. Just can't figure out which one it is. All right, so sometimes when you pull the front of these, it'll shorten like this one. But if you pull the back, it might shorten the tail. So I'm gonna pull it from the back. Just gotta keep an eye out. Nope, that's shortening a tail. Let's pull this from the front. I think that's shortened. Nope, that's shortening over here. So I'm gonna pull this one. I think it's this one. I feel like that's a tail. All right. There we go. Found it, and it keeps going crooked. All right, so now this one's too long, so we gotta shorten this one, but let me shorten that just a little more. I think that one was a tail. Let's pull the tail, and see which one it shortens. I can't tell. Oh, it's shortening the one I want, yay. There we go. That's more even looking. That one was just way too long. It took a minute to find it, but you just gotta play around. Don't be afraid to pull on these loops to make some, sometimes you might make one loop shorter and you wanna make it longer. So sometimes if you pull from the front of the loop, it shortens this loop. But if you pull from the back of the loop, it might shorten this loop. So one loop can pull two different ones or a tail. So you just really gotta play around I'm just going to straighten this ribbon out down there. Again, re-fluff everything. Get it where you want it. And there's my bow. It's pretty. Did I have two? I did three of those loops. One, put this one in the middle. Two. Louie just keeps crying. All right. And that's my bow. That's gonna look so pretty with the sign. So you could have your sign like that. Put your bow like that. Going down side of your wreath. Very pretty. So again, make sure you're watching because you could uh, win the bow and the sign. All right, guys, you all have a great night and I'll see you when I see you. Bye, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good night.